So where do we start? We've covered what the BACB expects, but where do we actually start when we want to start supervising or considering taking on a trainee? The first thing is to figure out your capacity. So you have to think about how many hours you are actually going to be required uh, to supervise that individual. 5% of the hours must be supervised, which means that if your trainee is earning the maximum number of hours that they can per month, 130 hours, you as a supervisor would have to oversee them six and a half hours every month. So if you had two um, uh, trainees, you're at 13 hours per month, and it can add up very quickly, especially if your job is not solely to supervise other people. Um, and when you take in factors like um, considering coordination and maybe uh, transportation to and from observations, uh, every trainee is going to require like a full working day minimum for you to supervise them. So you need to be aware of where that time is going to come from and only take on the number of trainees that you can appropriately support. You also need to consider your competence. So we touched on this a little bit. Look at the settings you have um, experience and education in. Uh, what about the types of clients? Um, also, where is your trainee currently working? What does that setting look like? What do their clients look like? What are the trainee's specific duties? So if the trainee is in a school setting and they are um, maybe a school psychologist, and they are um, doing a lot of assessments and evaluations, um, is that something that would translate very easily into behavior analytic work? Um, yes, there's a lot of overlap uh, versus if your um, trainee is maybe a, um, a school nurse, how much of those duties would translate into the behavior analytic requirements from the fifth edition task list. So you need to look at what those duties would be. And if you're familiar with them or familiar with how to make them more behavior analytic and how to maximize those opportunities. This applies for other settings as well. Um, if your trainee has a job as an in-home ABA provider or providing services at an ABA clinic, um, what do those look like? Are those mostly going to be restricted or unrestricted hours? And figuring out whether or not you know how to do those skills and can provide the feedback and help coach them through um, those types of duties. Broadhead et al. in 2008 came out with a competence and confidence checklist, and that is a nice starting point. It gives kind of a framework for how you might consider your competence for a particular situation. So here is a chart, the checklist uh, from the article in Behavior Analysis in Practice. And it's basically four questions. The first question asking, given the current behavioral problem, or I would say the current trainee setting or situation, what is my level of competence in? And then you rate yourself high, medium, low, unknown um, for procedures and strategies, populations, and setting. Um, there's also the column, do you, do you need to pursue additional supervision or professional development? So based upon how you answer, you can mark whether or not you need additional uh, professional development or supervision in that. Um, question two, what is my level of confidence in treatment success based upon my past experiences, familiarity with literature and available resources? So you could phrase that one. What is my level of confidence in uh, trainee success? Um, how well you think you can sub supervise and support them? And then question three, how similar in the 
is the current behavioral problem or the context of your trainee? Um, how similar is that to your past experiences, your previously available resources, the characteristics of participants in relevant research, and the conditions described in relevant research literature? And then question four, overall, based on your answers, how competent and confident do you feel in taking on this particular thing? So the wording is geared towards, do I take on a particular client? But the types of questions are a nice guide for a self-assessment on whether or not you could confidently and competently supervise a trainee given their current setting, their current population, um, their current job duties.